Hey everyone, I just wanted to hop on real quick and make this super fast video on how to connect your Nintendo Switch or any of the current gaming consoles to your studio display. Now I had to go down a lot of Reddit rabbit holes, I did a lot of Google searches, but ultimately I did find a cord that works. And since we offer up solutions on this channel and YouTube is a video search engine, I just had to share it with you. Now don't think that any HDMI to USB-C cord is gonna work, because it doesn't. I've gone through so many already which is why I'm trying to save you some time. And ultimately the one that I found on Reddit was the one here from 3D Club. It looks exactly like you would expect. It's just a HDMI cord with USB-C on the other end that connects to your studio display. But for whatever reason, this one works and the other ones don't. They also sell an adapter version if you prefer that. I'll leave a link down below. But as you can see behind me, it's working, it's going. I'm so excited. Now it does have its caveats. The cord itself claims it has 4K at 60 Hertz. And I'm sure that's true with a traditional monitor. But with anything Apple, it's not traditional and it doesn't really work well with non apple -y things. So the caveats are is that you'll get 1080p resolution versus the 4K. It's, it's kind of okay, especially if you're playing Nintendo games. Uh, and for me, uh, so you can see Pokemon Violet almost at the end there. And if you played, those frame rates aren't very good anyway. So you're really not gonna notice it. If anything, the studio display is gonna give it a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, but the biggest caveat here is that there is no audio. Of course, you could just connect it uh, via Bluetooth to AirPods, over the head headphones. I know gamers like to play that way anyway. Or I've connected it to a set of Bose speakers, so that's how I'm getting the audio right now. But of course, you're not going out to buy the studio display for gaming. And I know it feels like we're jumping over all sorts of hoops to get this working because, well, we are. This is just a really good solution if you already have a studio display and you're trying to avoid your responsibilities and do a little bit of gaming in between your work and you just want to use what you already have. But if you do have a better solution, be sure to let us know down in that comment section below. While you're down there, be sure to hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't, because as you can see, we have lots of solutions on this channel. And until next time, I'll see ya.